Hi guys, Frostfangs here, welcome back once again, of course, to uh, the Paladins video. First time I've started off a video in a minute on the settings screen here, mainly because I felt like I covered most of the stuff I wanted to cover for the settings like a year ago, which is why I haven't made a video like this in a while. But yesterday, in the Vivian video, which hopefully you watched, I played with a bunch of people who seemingly had auto-purchase on. Every now and again you can kind of tell that somebody isn't picking their own items because they purchased them kind of out of order in a very specific way, but I myself haven't played with auto-purchase and I think at least a year, maybe even two or or three. I have covered this before at some point because I did a bunch of videos in a row about all the different settings stuff back in the day, but it's definitely been a hell of a long time and that video is pretty outdated because Paladins two years ago doesn't really look that similar to Paladins these days, as I'm sure you already know if you've been following the game, and that's basically what the focus of this video is going to be on. It doesn't really matter that auto purchase is bad, I want to get this out of the way right at the start because realistically any person who's playing Paladins for a decent amount of time is just going to turn it off and you get items for yourself anyway. I'll do one match with one champion from each of the classes, a damage, a flank, a frontline, and a support because as far as I know, auto buy doesn't change depending on the character you pick as far as i can tell it also doesn't change depending on the team comps so that was probably the biggest problem with it is that people buy bulldozer even though the enemy team won't have any deployables stuff like that so i'll just go ahead and jump into it and i guess we'll just pick a character depending on the situation and what the team kind of needs i don't think it'll make that big of a difference like i said but i could be completely wrong if you know a bunch of information about it feel free to let me know in the comments all right well it seems like for game one we've got onslaught formans arise we are the anime emoji and a sky so we need a frontline and a support which is kind of what i was expecting i guess we'll go ahead and grab somebody like maybe Corvus or Fury. Let's go for Fury. I feel like that's not a terrible choice for their side group against BK, Bark, Makoa, Leanne, and a Corvus. Shoutouts to Spur Twelve. I'm guessing it's how you say that name. I feel like I'm butchering it. Seems like a pretty standard onslaught. One thing that I did forget though is that our Sky might be a healer, which would be kind of nice. We'll go ahead and grab, I guess, Soul of the Blessing. Works quite well on this map. And then, then the standard kind of beam build. And then we'll grab some nothing because auto purchases on. I actually just did that at the start of the video. That was completely unintentional. It's just because I've made so many videos on this game. I actually, by default, just expect to open the item shop when I load in. Got Eminence. We've got Debilitate, Boom Boom, Cat Burglar. The order by Did Buy Me Kronos, which is actually what I would usually go for. We've got Spreading Influence, Alacrity, Pluck, and Snare, and Royal Subjects. There goes the Sky. Okay. Heal there for the Emoji. Order by Got Me Haven. Okay, there's the Beam Heal onto her. Get a right click onto the Mave, because I should just focus on playing Normal Fury here. It does take a little bit of a load off of you. The fact that you can actually have order by on means I don't have to worry about items. A couple of shots there on the Makoa. Hello, BK. You're actually not looking too good. He's still kind of pushing up. There's a heal for the Emoji who just ran in and died. That is probably one of the worst plays I've seen in a minute, and that's coming from me. Seems like the frame rate's evened out a little bit, but it's definitely really weird that it was dropping so much right there at the start. Don't know what my F was really doing, but we should be able to get rid of the Lian. Nice. Don't really know what our emoji's doing. She seems to just kind of go in and die as a right click for the Lian. Maybe we can get rid of the buck through the beam. This guy did die though. That's BK going for the ult. I don't know exactly where he's going. There's an F. There's a beam. I'm expecting him to jump. Yep, we hit the stun. There's some shots into him. Order by went ahead and grabbed me Cauterize and kill to heal. That's actually not too bad. The fact that it grabbed me Cronus, I have to give it pretty big props for. I don't know how my beam didn't heal the emoji there. Tried to right click it, but she is a gunner. We'll go ahead and pop the ult. I want to try and get over here because it is BK ulting. Throw a beam. I think I'm still dead. Never mind. I guess we're fine. There's a shot or two. I still was getting the buff from the ultimate. There's a right click. We'll throw the beam. The FPS is, yeah, really all over the place, but we're not doing too bad here. I think I might be dead here. Maybe we can get rid of the bug. There's a right click. There's a beam as well. Right click there for the emoji. I've just noticed that the only time that my frame rate dips is when I hold tab. Like, you can look at the FPS counter. It goes from 144 to 90 for some reason when I tap tab. That is really weird. I think I've had that happen like maybe one time before. Hello, BK. He's just going to get rid of me. But yeah, you can even see with the frame rate counter just there on the right, whenever I hit tab, my FPS just drops to like freaking 60, which is horrible if you're playing on a 144 hertz monitor. I have no idea why. So far, I've got to say, auto buy is not doing too bad of a job. There goes the BK. Just going to F so that the Makoa doesn't hook. Might as well go ahead and pop the ultimate. I think that's only like the second or third time I've used it this game. Right for the Mave. I went for the ult, but he's just walking back to the objective for some reason. There goes the Fury. Not a Fury. Why do I want to call Leanne Fury? There goes the Makoa. We'll throw a Q. BK is going for the ultimate. He detonated on the Leanne. We actually, I think, stunned him. Or what else could that have possibly been? I guess we stunned him with the beam. I thought I missed it. Either way, Leon's still up, which I guess is what matters. But yeah, what about you did a pretty good job. To be honest, I don't think that's a terrible selection. But there we go. There is the defeat. They deserve the win. They play the objective way more than us. We were barely even on it that match. And I think overall there as a team, they just did a good job. We went 7 4 40k, 43k. Our Maeve struggled quite a bit. Our Moji had a really hard time. Our Leon didn't do too bad. And our Sky also had a bit of a rough one there. Their Makoa did okay. Their BK shredded. Their Buck also did a pretty good job. So did Corvus. And then their Leon, not as much, but she didn't do badly either. They deserve the win. Don't feel like I really need to add any post commentary there. But we'll go ahead and recue jump into another one auto buy for healers actually not too bad obviously i wouldn't recommend auto buy ever there's not really any advantages to it but in that situation just there the items it picked weren't too bad it wouldn't have been what i would have gone for but some other people easily could have gone for the same items there we'll go ahead and grab our atlas because we had alex and andrew and i and a sky but we'll go ahead and grab deja vu and then the standard setup we've got sacrifice god slayer prep seems like auto buy went ahead and grabbed me cauterized not a terrible choice again discovery eminence 
Decimation, Mega Potion, Guillotine, and Rare Two Instincts. It's just the second I hit tab, it drops. That's so weird. Seems like nobody went this side, so we'll go ahead and yoink the ultimate thing. I think I did just steal it from the sky. Throw up the wall, I guess, play a little bit more aggressively. We'll throw a rewind just there on the term and the pit. There's a shot for him. He's going in. I guess we got rid of the Leanne. He's gone. As far as I know, auto buy can only buy your items when like you're dead because it thinks you're in the spawn. Obviously, it's not going to buy you them in the middle of a fight, so there isn't really any advantage to it. Rip Lex, he just slid off of the map, and I think Andro also fell off very very confused to that one but that is definitely a big downside to auto buy is that you won't get items midway through you know with life you have to die before it works but i guess if you've got auto buy on you're probably dying a lot anyway we'll go ahead and pop the ultimate blast the leanne blast the pip blast the nobody because i don't know where anybody else is they try and hit leanne again but that didn't really work there's a rewind for the pip just to kind of keep him into the spot there we go well done team did throw up the q so i feel that is really really nice he's going over there's a rewind for him we should be able to just hit him afterwards did try and get rid of him he's on like two health can we just finish him off there we go there are just there he's going in there's a couple little shots the problem is right now is I've got like 1200 credits and the freaking system isn't buying me anything. There is the rewind. We'll just continue to fully charge our shot so we don't have to rewind. Did throw out my right click there. The effect hit him and everything, but there is my death because Pitbull did. Sky is going for her ultimate. Auto buy one ahead and grab me quarter rise two. Haven, Kronos, and Life Rip. Again, not a terrible decision. Like I said earlier, not necessarily exactly what I would go for, but it definitely is not a bad choice. Let's get rid of the Pip and then rewind. How am I so bad? Oh my god, there we go. There is the F. We're back up to full. Luckily, there's a rewind for her. Pip's going around the side. Shot for the term and a rewind as well just to get him away from our io shot for him we'll go ahead and pop the ultimate banish that just got eaten i think by the counter nope because he's got his counter still up so i don't know what the hell my left click hit that's the sky ultimate jesus christ that was one hell of a combo i don't know if that was intentional or not but she perfectly timed that with two people being unbanished from my ultimate well bloody done there sky holy shit we just got kind of a really juicy triple there's a hit for the zin he's pulling up the counter just gonna purposely not fire into it there's a follow-up shot nice we got rid of him go ahead and rewind the pip and hit him i actually landed that shot jesus christ my tracking was actually not ass she's just gonna walk off the map thank you for the free triple that is the lowest effort one i've had in a minute we're gonna go ahead and pop the f just so that i don't die hit him again skies with me and she's actually doing pretty good so there is i guess the quadra kind of don't know what's going on over there we'll throw a rewind hello leanne there's a shot and a q which i'm just gonna sit behind there's another hit throw the rewind just here that didn't really work there is my f which put me up a little bit but i'm pretty sure I'm gone. I'm totally gone. Seems like Auto Buy went ahead and grabbed me just Haven 2. That might have been just because I didn't have enough credits, but I don't know why it wouldn't finish off Quarter Rise. I think that's the biggest problem with Auto Buy, I've noticed, just from these two games I've played, is that it doesn't really like to finish off items. It prefers to just get a bunch of different ones. That rewind was kind of ass. There is the F. Never mind. I'm going to get altered by the pip and probably die. I was going to try and fall off and rewind, but there is the defeat. They once again deserve the win. I feel like we put up a pretty good fight for it, Sky specifically, but the rest of the team weren't really doing all that much. They also had a few people there who weren't doing too well, but 10 for 40k, I will take it. Our legs struggled quite a bit sky like i said did really well the io didn't do terribly neither did the Andrew, but they definitely could have done better their tiberius shredded their pip not so much their leanne did i guess average their zin also didn't do too bad neither did their term I feel like i've said it a ton already in this video but the frame rate's been all over the place so i'm going to go ahead and restart my game and see if that fixes it you want to do a cool transition you ready three two wow what a cool transition i'm sure that didn't look absolutely terrible i usually make that look scuffed on purpose because i find it kind of funny but let's go ahead and jump into i guess game three we'll do another tdm so far the items have been pretty damn good i'm going to be completely honest with you the only problem that i have with it is that it doesn't finish off items for some reason i definitely wouldn't say it's perfect but so far we haven't had any weird things like it grabbing bulldozers, even though they have you know no deployables it's been relatively reasonable saying that i could actually see somebody going for you know you could convince somebody that you weren't running auto buy with the items it picked so far but we'll see what it's like with a flank and a damage because i'm pretty sure it usually grabs bulldozer on damages and flanks not like front lines and stuff but i don't know i did grab koga because i kind of felt like playing him and i was actually first pick and then the rest of the team went ahead and locked in double damage double flank so we don't have a healer or a frontline here it'll be interesting to see what Auto buy does. We're up against a Strix, a Drogos, a Charlotte, and a Grover, and a Genos. Yeah, this is definitely way more of an awkward situation where I'd expect Auto buy to do a bit of a bad job and you'd be better off going for your own items, but I guess we'll see. We'll go ahead and grab Adrenaline Junkie and the setup. We got Opportunity and Chaos in a Strength Burn Monster. Sky isn't here. Power Cosmic and Eternal Fuselard, Frosty, and Recurve. It started off with Morale Boost. Okay. Did restart my game and the frame rate is still garbage. Whenever I hit tab, I'll hit F9 so you can see what I mean. It still drops. I honestly have to assume that that is Auto buy because it was perfectly fine earlier before I turned it on. A couple of shots here on the Grover Strix is also really low nice get rid of the grover so we can get rid of the charlin too that is a triple nice i didn't even realize the generals was there seems like i spawned right next to these guys which is kind of funny but it seems like order by went ahead and grabbed me kill to heal and haven strix and generals are just here there's a couple of little shots from that heal from grover is brutal because we only have quarter eyes one i'm dead charlin went ahead and popped the ultimate but yeah they also have a decent amount of invis charlin and also the strix are going to be invising a ton and we don't have any sort of illuminate there's a couple of little shots quarter eyes would also be really really nice i don't know why it went for morale boost Hello, drogas i'm pretty sure it just grabbed me morale boost because i'm on a flanker but i don't know i guess we should do 
maybe this again. If you want to see me do this again, let me know, and I guess we can kind of compare the results to see if anything changes. Let me finish off the Drogos. Okay, we'll dash in a little bit, because I do have the Ultimate. I was spamming my right-click there. It even consumed my energy. It didn't give me shit. I feel kind of cheated out of that. I don't know how he managed to cripple me there, even though I was spamming my right-click, but we did get rid of him. We should be able to get rid of these Strix here as well, and the Genos. I don't know who I should go on first. There's a right-click. There goes the Genos. The Strix is dead as well. Pop another F. Get some shots into the Grove, and my tracking is on point. His movement is also really predictable, so it's not too hard. I don't know where that Strix is. I thought he was in here somewhere, but I guess not. He's just down there. Shots into the Grove. There's a dash. There is an ultimate. I'm pretty sure he already used his F, so he should be a goner. I think I might be dead, though, to the Strix. There's a right-click. Shots into him. Yeah, I'm gone. I don't know how I was expecting to win that fight. Auto buy went ahead and grabbed me morale boost 2, then cauterize 2, and then kill to heal 2. As far as I know, it just gets everything tier 1, everything tier 2, and then everything tier 3, which is really, really bad. <laughs> to get a little cheeky double there, but it just means that it doesn't really finish off any items as far as I can tell, and it just gets me like a little bit of everything. I'll go ahead and yoink this and go for the ultimate. Are you in range? I don't know if you are, but we did get some good damage on you. There is the F. He's gone. Kill to heal actually helped me out a little bit there. Sheldon is here. He hit me with the cripple. There's a dash. There's another one. I'm definitely dead, but maybe we can take him out. He did just go ahead and grab me Haven too, which definitely just kind of confirms what I said a minute ago, that it just gets everything in tiers. And there we go. There is the defeat. That was probably the worst item selection out of the set. Again, not terrible, but they definitely could have been way, way better there. I mean, I still did find 14763k, but I definitely would have done a better job there if we went for, you know, what I'd usually go for. Vivian didn't do too bad. Our Tyro did pretty damn bad there, though. Our Talos did okay, and I guess our Sky did too for their side. Their Generals did all right. Their Drogos did fine. Their Strix did okay. Charlotte definitely carried, and then their Grove also did a pretty solid job. But go ahead and Riku for one more. We'll go ahead and play one more TDM to finish it off with a damage. And like I said, if you want to see me revisit this, definitely let me know by dropping a like on the video and let me know in the comments. I definitely want to do another hour long special sometime soon. I'm just not really sure what I kind of want to focus it around because last time I just played for an hour and that was kind of fun. I don't want to do the exact same thing. I did try and play one of each class or whatever, which I will do again. But if there's anything specific you want to see me cover, maybe a setup that I've done before, but I didn't do, you know, justice or just anything. If you've got a request, let me know in the comments because I do want to do a special and it will be good for me to just pull a couple up. All right, well, for match four, we got TDM. Stuff for Junction. Feels kind of weird to say that. I went ahead and grabbed Amani. Did realize that it's a bit of a bad decision considering we're already having frame rate issues. Going for Amani doesn't really help that. We've got Grover, we've got Makoa, Drogas, and a Tiberius. Shoutouts to John PLDNS. Sure, we're up against a Zin, a Jonas, Grover, and Andra, and a Nessa. I guess we'll go ahead and grab Pyromania. And then the standard setup, you can definitely still tell that there is lag in the menus. That is really weird. We'll go ahead and grab nothing. Seems like what if I start off with Quarter Rise? Not a bad choice. We've got Ferocity, Half Shell, Tigers, Free, Fuselard. I don't know if I did that in the last game. Ferocity, Steady Aim, Crest of Luminary and yeah, we go over the top, pop a right click. Nobody's even here, they're under me. There goes the Zin, first blood. Nice as a tap for the Nessa. We'll throw over the root that actually didn't work how I thought it would because I forget I have no bonus speed on the right click. Just got tapped by the Nessa. There's a hit for her and also her mind. There's another one, although I'm definitely dead because she, of course, can just double tap me. Go over the top. Hello, Knessa. I'm pretty sure you're out of range. So I'm just going to cancel that. Jesus Christ, she still nearly bodied me. She's actually going to go in. Thank you, Grover, for the heal. We hit it with one or two things, but Nessa versus Amani on this map means that I'm going to get kind of screwed if I try and glide around. That is the Nessa going for the ultimate. I'm going to try and melt the gems, but that ain't going to happen because obviously it's a Knessa, but auto by grabbed his Haven and Chronos. That is what I was trying to say. We'll go over the side here. I'm going to try and go in on that Nessa. She already hit me once. There's a hit for the Andro. There's one into his reversal. We'll tap for her stance switch, although I think I'm still dead. Maybe we can hit her with a root. I think that does despawn my Fireball or my Frost Ball. Definitely seems like the most uneven TDM I played in a minute. Grove is going to go around. That root is ridiculous, or the F I mean. There's some right clicks onto him. I think I'm dead too. The Andro Nessa is over there. I spawned literally in front of them. I don't know how they're doing so well, but at the same time, I don't really know what matchmaking was thinking. 6-2-35 did try and tap it with that. That didn't work. There is a route which I think despawns. 6-2-36. This is a honestly ridiculous TDM. There is a right click to try and melt them a little bit, but he's got so much damage reduction. And there we go. There is the defeat. Probably the fastest and most shredded I've ever had a TDM match there, but order by seemingly did the same sort of thing. It was just going 1-1-1-1 one, 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 and then 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. I wouldn't say the item selection there was necessarily bad, but it seems to also just grab one red, one blue, one yellow, and then one green, which is another thing that I kind of noticed. It just does all tier one, then it also grabs one of each category. We're trying to catch up on the chat here because it resets every time somebody types. That was pro player. So fast was a good match for Frost Fangs. He can upload this. How you get perma killed by Kinesa. Well, I was playing Amani gliding around all the time. She didn't necessarily have a hard job, but she did a good job. 7-1. I had to have to say they deserve the win, but that match was very, very uneven. And luckily it was over quickly because we played three already. For some reason, whenever people kind of beat me in games, they expect me just to kind of scrap a video because I guess they killed me a couple times. I don't know. That always gets 
confuses me because I don't scrap videos because I do badly. I only ever scrap videos if I don't enjoy myself at all, which doesn't actually happen all that often. That's very rarely the reason, but shouts to a lot of them regardless. I guess we'll go ahead and turn off auto buy now forever again until I revisit this video, I guess, in two years. If Paladins is still around, but there really isn't anything else I can say about the auto buy. It's pretty mediocre, which is what you'd expect if it was as good as, you know, you buying items yourself. There wouldn't be any reason for you to buy items, and I think it's fine that it's just mid, to be honest. Although there definitely seems to be some cases where it does buy kind of the wrong item or an item that doesn't really make any sense. Most of the time, it's fine, which is, I guess, what matters. Thank you for watching, though. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon, and as always, stay frost there.